Hey team, I hope everybody's doing well. This is the final wash up for my entry into the mini warm painting challenge for September. This is two blocks of lens connects with another small couple of bases up the back which will be used as unit fillers to pad out another unit. Uh, so this is 204 miniatures all told uh, that I've managed to get complete. The miniatures, the plastics, are the Warlord Games Lands Connect miniatures. Uh, the, they're pretty much all pikemen. The front bases are medals from Artisan, and sprinkled through both units are a few character models from both Artisan Designs and Warlord Games, which give it a little bit more interest if you're uh, looking closely. Um, some of them were really nice miniatures and a lot of fun to paint. I didn't get as much time this month as I was anticipating, so didn't get the Saxons finished. I'll show where they're up to in a second. But happy to get both of these units done. So I think this was three blocks of Lansconnect Pike plus another one for the black band that I've now got complete. So I think I'm okay for the time being for Lance Connect Infantry, for the Pike anyway. I've got to do more Swiss and War Games Atlantic will be sending out the uh, Renaissance Cavalry box sets mid to late October. So I'm figuring, oh sorry, mid to late October. I think it was the 21st of October, yeah. So I'll probably get those early to mid-November and start to have a tinker with them so the cavalry side of the project can progress a little bit. So looking forward to that. Uh, flags for the French unit were from Pete's Flags on eBay, I think, from memory. And the one on the left hand side they were mainly the ones out of the uh, Perry Mercenaries foot box I think they came in uh, there are a couple there from Pete's Flags as well but the default um, banner poles are too short to use some of the more How do I frame this? The I think the the Perry Miniatures ones are sort of the appropriate size, but the uh, bespoke custom banners that you get from Pete's Flags and other manufacturers are a little bit bigger to show show off the units and things. So they're slightly bigger than would be historically accurate, is my understanding. So they've needed metal pikes to go on. So where I've assembled a plastic standard bearer, they've pretty much just had to take the Perry banners by default, if that makes sense. Alright, I think that's pretty much all I've got to say about that, so I'll park that there, and we'll just have a quick look at the Saxons. And as you can see, not a great deal of progress, have managed to get them all assembled, primed, and a couple of the base colours on. These guys shouldn't be too much effort to finish. Um, no, no word against the design on these, but given the, the nature of the units, just with tunics and things, they're reasonably uh, simple as far as detailing is concerned, so it should just be a case of base colours down, a wash and a little bit of detailing to get most of the... Uh, the fabric up to speed. The main focus will end up being on the shields and the Warlord Games ones. Um, so 60 of these guys are Warlord Games. The Warlord Games ones all come with uh, shield transfers. Uh, these ones at the back which already have their shields affixed are the Gripping Beast miniatures. Uh, they don't come with shield decals, but I'll just give them a very simple quartering or just half the shields or something very simple so that it's 
it breaks up the the more detailed ones from all the games I do actually like these sculpts a great deal uh, they're very simple to put together uh, I know there's not a great amount of flexibility in the posing but the stances that you get really do help to form a coherent shield wall if that makes sense if you're uh, doing larger multi-bases, having a few of these guys on hand to scatter through other manu manufacturers does assist in getting that uh, complete shoulder-to-shoulder uh, -shoulder shield wall look, uh, given that most of them have shields forward, whereas the other manufacturers, I mean, you can put the shield on wherever, but given the more dynamic posing, sometimes it looks like the shield should be to the side or or somewhere else so it is a little bit a little bit more difficult to rank them up so i'll keep pushing on with these and hopefully have another eight bases for my dark age project done up um, i'm quite looking forward to these guys they should be good fun then uh, i think i'll just give myself a bit of a break maybe move on to some fantasy stuff just a bit of a palette cleanser fantasy is always fun and I find it low pressure to paint for some reason. Then I'll probably start tacking back to Ancients. I've been working on assembling some Victrix, uh, what are they called? Uh, mid period or early period Republican Romans. So that'll be to go up against Carthage. So, yeah shouldn't take too long to paint i'm gonna have a go at doing the shields freehand so that may come to a screaming halt and i may need to do an order to victrix for some decals so we'll see how we go anyhow i hope everybody's enjoyed the painting challenge i hope everybody who wasn't participating is still getting stuff painted enjoy your hobby take care and i'll talk to you in the next one